My name is Bill Brown. I'm the division manager of Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems in Summit, New Jersey. I would like to introduce our EACM. Our EACM is our latest advancement of our micro ACM air classifying milling technology. As I mentioned, the EACM is a hybrid of the micro ACM air classifying mill. And what's typical with the ACM or EACM is we have a mechanical impact grinding zone and a classification zone. With respect to grit reduction of carbon black, this is what happens. The carbon black and the air stream are conveyed through this screen, through this duct, into the milling, below the milling chamber, below the rotor disc. The mechanical impact milling zone is, is at this location here. So the mix of the carbon black feed with the air comes in below the rotor disc and is fed through or past the grinding zone. The grit reduction occurs in this area here. After passing through the milling zone, the particles are conveyed up to the classification zone at this location here. If the particles are fine enough, they're removed through the classifier wheel and are conveyed through a material handling fan to the primary bag filter. However, if the particles are too coarse, the classifier wheel rejects the particles, pulls the particles through this adductor zone, and carries them back into the path of the hammers. So what makes the EACM unique to the micro ACM air classifying mill is instead of having an internal recirculation of oversized particles, the recirculation is done external to the mill. As the carbon black feed particles are conveyed from the reactor, there's a potential or the likelihood of having large agglomerates or masses of carbon black. In order to alleviate the problem of, of overloads or surges on the milling zone, we install a screen. So the purpose of the screen is just to capture these large masses and discharge them out instead of going into the mill and potentially overloading the mill. The EACM is an air classifying mill, so what makes the air classifying mill unique is the utilization of a dynamic air classifier. The, the air classifier is mounted on a vertical shaft, rotates at a specified speed to maintain the top size of the product. So we have two important functions of the mill, or two critical parameters which dictate the particle size or grit reduction. It's the design and speed of the hammers, as well as the design and speed of the air classifying wheel. Here's a close-up of an air classifier. The air classifier wheel rotates and controls the top size of the product. When the carbon black particles are sized appropriately, the particles pass through the, class the veins of the classifier wheel, through the volute section, and exit on this horizontal duct to the material handling fan, and then from then on to the primary bag filter. We offer our EACM in a variety of sizes, from our pilot size mill, our EACM 10, to our EACM 300, which is equipped with the 300 horsepower main grinding motor. This particular mill is our EACM 250, which is equipped with the 250 horsepower main grinding motor. And this particular mill, for most grades of carbon black, is capable of processing to about six to seven tons per hour. The EACM can be installed in line into existing processes, as well as offline processes. For the retrofit into existing processes, the mill, in addition to a material and handling fan, can be installed between the filters from the reactor and the primary bag filter. The reason for the additional material and handling fan is to account for the increased pressure drop from the EACM. In conclusion, the EACM is excellent for grit reduction of carbon black. The mill could be installed in line in existing processes, which minimizes the overall capital cost. It's much better than the incumbent technology, the hammer and screen mill, in that it's capable of processing to grit sizes less than 2 ppm plus 325 mesh and can handle process temperatures up to about 200 degrees C. Thank you for watching.